Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here inside of Coldal Zombies. Today I've got you guys at the top 5 best working glitches currently right now inside of Coldal Zombies. So if you want to level up inside of Season 6 or get some more tiers, then this video should help you out tremendously. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Enjoy. So getting into our first glitch here on the map Meow the Toad and come toward the Wonder Fizz machine and make sure you guys grab the PhD perk at least tier 4 or above. You are now going to want to come toward this area on the map in the East Berlin streets and come toward this gate and what you want to do is slide toward the gate and midway through a slide pause your game. You are now going to want to unpause in the animation of you sliding and if done correctly you should push through the wall like I did here. Once you have breached through jump on top of this garbage can and come all the way toward the area I did here by crawling through this platform and then from there go prone and all of these zombies in the game should be visible and they should pile up right down below you. Whilst in this spot nothing in the game can hit you and if you got Guys need ammo you can either grab it from a torment around or go back to where you just came from and then grab ammo and quickly go back to the spot the zombies were originally piling up all right lads so let's head into glitch number two so to get into this glitch you head over to the map demo machine and from there make your way toward the particle accelerator area you are going to want to bring at least two zombies at the end of the round and come toward this specific staircase from there go to the third step from the top and you want to look toward this specific railing you now want to jump over this railing and as you do so push back a tiny bit and if done correctly you should land on the barrel right down below you if these zombies are either throwing meat at you or if they're coming towards you and hitting you directly i recommend retrying this glitch as you have not done the glitch correctly however when you're in the glitch correctly the only thing you must worry about are the megatons and the play count zombie types as these guys can still hit you i recommend having the ring of fire for the megatons and for the play counts have a high powered weapon and juggernaut just so you can easily fend off their attacks heading into our third glitch here on the map forsaken come toward this area here next to the beach area and you want to make your way toward this specific garbage can. You next want to bring one to two zombies here and what you want to do is jump forward and mantle and as you do so push back a tiny bit and if done correctly the zombie should pile up right down below you. If the zombie remains frozen and starts to throw meat or if he keeps on attacking you I recommend retrying the glitch as you've not done it correctly. A tip I have for you guys to make the glitch work a little bit more consistently is keeping some space between you and the garbage can then jumping mantling forward and pushing back and this animation should be pretty short in between one another but if you have done it correctly the glitch should work once you are in this spot correctly the only zombie type that can still hit you is the abomination so if you guys are having trouble with this boss zombie type i recommend having the ring of fire field upgrade just so you can easily kill him as soon as possible you can use this glitch as a xp slash camo thumb however if you're going for just xp i recommend having the crystal act and just spamming your r2 button and from there you guys should be able to go to some nice juicy high rounds all right lads so now heading into our second to last glitch here in the video head to the map de machina and from here grab the phd perk at least tier 4 or above from the wonder fizz machine you are now going to want to come toward the med bay area and come to this specific wall once you are here you want to slide toward this wall and midway through your slide pause your game and unpause and if you've done this correctly you should push through the wall like i did here when you are through the wall head toward your right and jump through this gap and you should mantle over this barrier then head toward your right and jump over this slope i recommend now making your way toward this rock and going crouch under the rock and if done correctly all of these zombies in the game should pile up right on top of you like so nothing in the game can hit you from here onwards so you can chillax have the die wonder weapon and go through some nice extremely high rounds something to note about this spot is that ammo can be grabbed from the ammo cache located below the plane wing and on dog rounds so the play count rounds what's gonna happen is that they will explode immediately upon going near you so what i recommend you do is shoot them kill them before they get to you so that you can actually progress through the round. So heading into our last glitch of the video, head to the map Meow the Totem and come toward this area on the map. It is also super important that you guys keep the door shut that is heading toward the pack punch area from the East Berlin streets. Anyhow, moving on, come to the side of this shop and you guys want to jump on top of this crate. Once you're on the crate, head toward the left side here and from there, all of the zombies in the game should freeze exactly where they are. This spot is great for cameras as you can just pick up zombie headshots, but what I recommend you do is if you're going for rounds in this spot, 
I recommend killing these zombies right in front of you and from there jumping off the crate, then training zombies up and hopping back onto the crate and making them freeze. When you are in at this spot, the only thing that can hit you guys are the Krasny Soldat attacks and only their long range attack. Lastly, if you want to grab ammo in this spot, you must get out of the glitch manually and grab some from an ammo cache. But with that, those were the top 5 best working glitches currently right now in Cold War Zombies. Now, if Track makes some more patches, I'll make some updates to this video. But for now, those were the best glitches currently in Cold War. If you guys have enjoyed this video or if you have found the video useful at any stage, then please do consider smashing the like button as it does help the video spread to more viewers on the platform. Until next time, goodbye.